it was something that we did for the men's actually. It was the research that we did with very, very people from Morocco that we thought this, this incredible culture and uh, nomadic people that they are so interesting in every aspect of everything and including the clothing. So we did it in the men's and we really developed something so strong and so beautiful and at the same time we thought like why not just recreate and re just continue and just kind of give a whole thing like just make it complete now with a woman's as well. This was a, something was a, a heavily researched in, in the Berber culture and then with most of it is was just kind of a scene in their everyday clothing and everyday embellishment themselves. So we just take them and then just we rework them and we just develop something kind of new but the, the starting point and inspiration was heavily the Arabic lettering, the all different like Fatima symbols and the Berber culture. This desert trap is so incredible and it's just so much about comfort and everyday life and living with nature. So it was just something that was taken on board and just kind of give that kind of modernism to the whole thing. We find it incredible and we find it exciting, but at the same time we wanted to give it not just the modernism but also kind of ease to it and bring a little bit of street to it. So it was just the whole thing and kind of the universe of KTZ. Berber woman, she kind of has all her, let's say, bank account on herself. All her richness, everything that she kind of produced and created for herself, you know, all dowry and everything. So this is what it is, you know, you have it on you and then you have a close eye on your money, basically. So you wear what you have, So, which we don't have that in nowadays, but that's how it used to be. But I find it incredible, incredible that this kind of high embolished and how beautiful at the same time and these women are so strong and beautiful and at the same time they're women and mothers and having raising kids but looking like that I find it like incredible.
I kind of love Leni Lippenstein, like the, when she came to Africa and described the Nubu tribe in Sudan. Researching and finding these indigenous people, I kind of love these kind of women. Women because they're quite powerful, very strong, but connected with nature, connected with culture, connected with indigenous people. And for me, this is something that we know is dying. Every of these beautiful cultures are on a verge of extinction. So that's for me, it's kind of very interesting to see and explore the cultures that are kind of dying out. So we're kind of bringing it in and give them kind of a new momentum.